Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Know the Laws of India. So today let us have a discussion on the legal procedure that is involved in adopting a child in India. Friends, the reason why this topic assumes importance is because as we all know, COVID-19 has caused a lot of damage to the human society in various ways. There is certainly no person on this planet who is not adversely affected by this virus outbreak. One of the major problems caused by it is children becoming orphaned by losing both their parents for COVID. As we all know, a lot of children have lost both their parents for COVID and are now facing an uncertain future. The relatives of the child also abandoning them has made the situation worse. As a result of all this, a lot of children who would have become a great asset to the society have now become helpless. However, one of the positive element in this sad situation is that a lot of parents who are unable to conceive a baby are coming forward to adopt these orphan children. So in this context, the legal procedure and the law that is involved in adopting a child in India becomes very helpful. So friends, in India, the government itself directly regulates and involves in the process of adoption of a child. There is a two-tier structure by which the government functions to protect children in orphanages and to give them in adoption. At the central level, we have the Central Resource Adoption Agency and at the state level, we have the State Resource Adoption Agency. Now, the primary function of both these agencies is to collect all information regarding children in orphanages and to give it to persons who have a desire to adopt a child. So the first step that a person has to take who, has a, who wants to adopt a child is to approach these agencies. So when a person approaches any of these agencies, they collect information regarding his financial, economical and uh, educational qualifications. They also look at physical and mental capabilities of the person who wants to adopt a child. Now, after looking at multiple criteria, these agencies come to a conclusion as to whether a person is competent in law to adopt a child or not. Now, if in case these agencies come to a conclusion that a person is not competent to adopt a child, then the law does not allow him to adopt a child at any cost. Now, one of the major factors that these agencies look at is the financial condition of both the parents to give good education and standard of life to the child. Now, good education does not mean that the child has to be educated in top class educational institutions and has to be given a luxurious lifestyle. The law only requires you to provide decent quality education so that the child is able to stand on its own legs without becoming a burden on others. Now, the agency also looks at physical and mental health of the parent to take care of the child and bring up the child in life. Now, if any of the parent is suffering from a life-threatening disease or an ailment, then adoption could be denied on this ground. The point here is that the parent should become a support to the child, not a burden on the child. The agency also looks at the marital status of the person who wants to adopt a child. Now, the law says that an unmarried man can adopt only a male child. However, an unmarried woman can adopt a male or a female child as per choice. However, a married man can adopt a male or a female child only with the consent of the wife. Now, when the agency finally agrees to hand over a child in adoption to a person, the person adopting a child has to make an application to the court under the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act or the Juvenile Justice Act requesting the court to formally record the process of adoption. Now, when this application is made before a court, the court first administers oath and records the statement of an officer in charge of the adoption agency. And after this, the statement of the adopting parents is also recorded by the court. And the court then passes a final order declaring the adopted child as a legal heir of the adopting parents. Now, the effect of this court order is that the adopted child will be given the same rights which are available to a naturally born child. Friends, the reason why adoption is made by a court order is because at a later point of time, the adopting parents cannot disown their adopted child. And if they do so, they will be liable for legal action under law. For example, if at a later point of time, the parents are able to conceive a baby of their own, then they cannot disown their adopted child. So friends, in a nutshell, this is the legal process that is involved in adopting a child in our country. 
Thank you so much for watching my video.